Hello everybody, we're back again talking about the whole, um, I saw this on the internet where people were complaining about, you know, the problem, about ghosts of Tsushima, I think that's how you say that, I'm not very good at Japanese names, so forgive me if I have butchered that, but we have apparently, SJW Twitter has decided to flip out on uh, a Western company making a Japanese-themed game. Uh, after seeing this, I'm definitely buying the game. <laughs> I, I'm probably going to... I have a piggy bank at my house I use spare. I put my spare change in for usually gun parts. Every so often, I'll see a game that I want to buy, and uh, Ghost of Tsushima, this is going to be one of those games that I'm probably going to buy. But I would like to mention something right now about the people who are saying that this is all problematic. That, uh, you know, Americans making a, a Japanese open world samurai game, which sounds awesome as hell, is, is problematic. It's, it's so problematic. You shouldn't like this. No. Let me ask you a question. You're telling Japanese people not to like this. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe, just maybe, you going in there and telling the Japanese how they should feel is stamping all over their culture and their freedom of choice? Has it ever occurred to you that you, a Westerner, are going out there and pretty much committing the sin of cultural colonization? Has that not occurred to you? That you're going out there, I mean, we see this in anime, where they are demanding, you know, the reduction of boob sizes, claiming that anime is pedophilia, because you, you got this from the same group of retarded morons, who I promise you are sitting on stacks and stacks and near terabytes of child pornography. I promise you this. I've been watching these morons for years. Every time they say that you're doing something, they usually have tons of skeletons in their closets of the exact same thing. If it's spousal abuse, they've been beating the crap out of their girlfriends. If it's disrespecting women, you find out that they've been not only disrespecting women, but possibly sexually assaulting women. And if it comes down to stuff like pedophilia and all this other nonsense and disrespect for a, a culture, they're the ones disrespecting the culture. Because usually people like this Idiot SJWs who go out there and they say, hey, you know what? Um, we're, we're out here to save them from you. What's really happening is they have this sin in their life. They're the ones that are going around there jerking off to child porn and whatever else is out there in the world. Whatever bull crap that they're accusing everyone else of doing. And they're, the, and they're hoping that if they try to make you into the monster that no one will see them as the monster. They'll try to see them as the hero. Um, never works that way. But that's what these people do. I mean, they go out there and they want to tell their, their authoritarian cultural colonizers. They're cultural colonists or colonials. Yeah, there, there it is. Hashtag cultural colonials. Or, yeah, cultural colonials. What they do is they go into a culture whether it be D&D, &D, whether it be video games, whether it be movies, and they colonize it. And what is it that these colonists do? These colonials do? They go in, they force their belief system on the native population, they force their way of life onto the native population, they completely upend the culture, destroy everything that they don't like. It, it must be burned and melted down. So that these colonialists, these colonizers of, all, of different cultures, can make the culture look like what they believe perfection is. They do this to comic books. They're doing this to games. You look at comic books right now. Oh, well, you know, 90% of the characters must be uh, homosexual. 
and we, we have to change all the homosexual characters, all the, all the heterosexual male characters, Wolverine must now be gay. Why? Because our culture demands it. You will bow before the SJW culture. We have come to colonize your country. That's what's going on here. They are cultural colonizers. Say it with me. No, better yet. Pop cult. No, no, pop culture colonizers probably won't work. They're just cultural colonizers. That's what we need to call these idiots. It's like the new soy boy. Only instead of just affecting half of the SJW population, we can hit all of them with cultural colonizers. When they go in there and they tell people, Yo, you, Star Wars shouldn't be like this. Cultural colonizer. When you've got someone going in there saying, Well, um, Wolverine just acts a little too toxically masculine for my takes. Cultural colonizer. When you got someone going in going, well, Japanese people should just not be doing this. They shouldn't be liking a game made by Westerners. Only Japanese people can make Japanese-themed games. Cultural colonizer. That's what we're dealing with, folks. They have been sitting there screaming about colonization for years, how the West is a is a colonial bastard state, and they're doing the same exact shit to our cultures, to all of to, to any kind of geekdom that's out there. Any form of entertainment, whether it comes from whatever country, these people, it must pass their purity tests and submit to their culture. Because they intend to colonize it. Say no to cultural colonizers. Hashtag cultural colonizer. Hashtag cultural colonial. Cultural colonial, that sounds a lot better, actually. Colonizer just sounds like it's going to make too long of a hashtag, in my opinion. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed this little short video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the like button uh, if you enjoyed it, and hit the bell for notification. I put new videos out all the time. And as usual, stay safe, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.